I'm playing Lady Bracknell. And I was just, I was, I was slightly uh, taken aback by the idea. But uh, I said, well... That I've had in a long time, not only to be back in Nashville, but to be on your show. Well, thank you. I'm honored. Well, you're honored. Gwendolyn and Cecily. Uh, no, Cecily and Gwendolyn. <laughs> oh, terribly sorry. Cecily and Gwendolyn. Uh, don't tell me, uh, Robin. No. no, the tide. And I think this is one of the dramas of the world, personally, that... that uh, countries like Russia and the United States are so immense. When you get to China, then you find how... They met the next day, he said, you get the mirror. He said, I've got the mirror. He said, is he talking? No, not a word. He said, I'll tell you what to do, by the park, and he was crying, and he's an old-timer. And I said, what's the matter, old fellow? He says, I'm married to a beautiful... Pigeon sisters. <laughs> <laughs> or as our friends in Chelsea used to call us, the cuckoo pigeon sisters. <laughs> He trod upon necks all the way up. He never looked back, and no neck was exempt. No, but only because come on, he knock it off. Well, I want to wait till the second hand reaches sixty. Oh, oh come on. Oh, oh, well, I just want to be an entertainer. I don't know. I'd rather be a just a singer, performer. Uh, if you have me, you get no bread with one. You see, because there was just three networks and there was no cable and there was no syndication. So you just were on your network and nobody was smart enough to say it. It tires you out worse than a two-pound hen trying to lay a three-pound egg. 